Hello and welcome to, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, first YouTube VisualJSharp.net um, video tutorial. So anyway, today, or right now, we are going to build a simple uh, application that has a label and a button that we click the button and the label text and the button text both change. It's very simple, but it's a fundamental part of programming, I guess you can say. Well, it's a good starter anyway. So to start off, uh, open your Visual Studio 2005. Unfortunately, um, I believe Microsoft discontinued Visual J Sharp in uh, Visual Studio 2008. But uh, if you do have Visual Studio 2005, open, uh, create a new um, Visual J -sharp .net Windows application project name it whatever you want mine is tutorial app and then you once you get to this uh, form design view then you're ready to start now what we are going to do is simply drag a button to the top left corner whatever you want it but top left corner that's what I'm doing and we can keep it the default name and default current text for now um, and then uh, we are going to find a label and put that right under the button and there we go and we can keep the same name so now we're gonna double click the button and that takes us to our code view and automatically creates a new uh, private void button one click um, event handler or click handler um, function so now let's go ahead and put two lines of code simple lines of code so this I'm just referring to this class library we're currently in and um, button one, which is in the code right now, or in the uh, object of score, sorry. And then set text, and what whatever you want to say. Uh, you clicked me, and now we're gonna change the label text. Label one dot set text you clicked the button so there we go now just save it click run or debug it'll open up and there we go we got our button and our label click the button you clicked you clicked the button what do you know simple but somehow elegant so that's our tutorial for now I will be making more J Sharp tutorials. Um, hopefully, sometime I will make a tutorial on uh, how to create something where you can like drag and drop the button and place it somewhere, and then label and stuff like that, and other applications like that. So, see you next time.